Young Carrie Lee, American boy in China, has started out to do some secret service work for the Chinese army along the Burma Road, but so far has had little good luck. True, he hopes to capture Captain Blaze, the Burma Road bandit. In fact, Carrie is in the captain's headquarters, along with Pat Ryan and April Kane, but things haven't been going so well. You see what we mean in today's transcribed adventure in just a moment. Carrie and the Pirates is transcribed and brought to you by the makers of Libby's Tomato Juice, one of Libby's hundred famous foods. You boys and girls probably think that you've had some good adventure stories and some good games, but you haven't seen anything until you see the Carrie Adventure Game Book. This book has been specially made for you kids who listen to Carrie and the Pirates. It's full of exciting new games and coloring pages and magic tricks that you can't get any place in the world except in the Terry Adventure Game Book. You'll sure have a swell lot of fun with this big book, traveling through mysterious China with Terry and Connie and Pat and Big Stoop. Adventures all the way, a new riddle or game or excitement of some sort on every single page. And here, boys and girls, is news that'll sure give you a thrill. This sensational adventure game book is free. Yes, free. Not one penny do you have to send in to get it. All Libby wants is that you should try Libby's keen tasting tomato juice and wonderful pineapple juice from Hawaii. So they're offering this Terry Adventure Game Book for just one label from Libby's pineapple juice and one from Libby's tomato juice. The name is Libby, spelled L I B B Y S. Just imagine, boys and girls. A great big 16-page book with more than 20 different kinds of fun in it. Free for two Libby's labels. So hurry and get your labels. Write your full name and address on the back of one and mail them in to Terry in care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. Think what a thrill it will be when the postman brings you your Terry Adventure Game book and you start off on the adventure of the Ruby of Genghis Khan with Pat and Terry. Now... I'm going to give you the address once more, then you mail your label to it. It's Terry, in care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. You got it? Terry, in care of Libby's, Chicago. Now, don't forget to put in your full name and address. And now, Terry and the Pirates. Well, Terry and Pat and April are at the headquarters of Captain Blaze, but they're really prisoners, although Blaze has never said so. Terry, of course, is pretending to be Johnny Stomber, one of the Dragon Lady's men. Yesterday, Terry met the captain's daughter, Cherry Blaze. She and Johnny Stomber had met previously in Singapore, so Cherry told her father that Terry really was Stomber. However, Cherry Blaze is a wild cat, and as changeable as the weather, so we can't depend on it. But the real danger is that the dragon lady is expected here at Captain Blaze's. And that is sure to spell trouble for our friends. But let's join Johnny, alias Terry Lee, as he sits beside a window looking out at the rocky landscape, the native guards and the electrically charged barbed wire fence. Terry is far from happy. Johnny Stumber, I want to talk to you. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh, yes. Well, come in. I am here. Dragon Lady will arrive here soon, so I've learned. Do you know her? Yes, of course. Of course, you work for her. Tell me, is she pretty? Oh, uh, so so. You in love with her? Oh, I should say not. She's beautiful, isn't she? Well, that all depends, Cherry. Some folks think so. And this girl, this, this April Kane, you in love with her? Certainly not. Hey, what are all the questions for? Do you think I'm beautiful? Huh? Go on, tell me. Take a good look, Johnny Summer. Oh, gee, this is no way to talk. I I don't know how to answer questions like that. Oh, you know very well I resemble my father. I have the same ugly red hair. Before long, I have the same kind of figure. I'll never be attractive like your employer, the dragon lady, or cute like Miss Kane. No, not me. You're sure feeling oh, a bad don't way. Oh, don't interrupt. Okay. You change, Johnny Thumber. You're not the same person I met in Singapore. Well, times have changed, too. Don't and, uh... that. You're not even interested in me now. I can tell. Neither is Pat Ryan interested in me. You both avoid me. Oh, you imagine. My it. father has told you lies about me, hasn't he? No, he said very little. He doesn't like me, you know. Sure he does. He's your father. Father? Then I should have a crook, a smuggler, and a pirate for a father. How could he expect me to love him? 
You're so set against him. Why don't you turn him over to the army? They're after him, you know. There's a spice on his head. Perhaps I will someday. But I can't stand his scoundrel methods any longer. He's always been a double dealer. As long as I can remember. He even named me Cheery. And look at me. Look at me. Would you call me a Cheery person? Exactly, making me feel very funny. That's because I haven't got a doll's face like April Payne or the dark oriental beauty of the dragon lady. But let me tell you something, Johnny Samba. In spite of all that, I've got one thing that nobody can take from me. Yeah? I am brave. I'm wiser than any of you. I'm superior, do you hear? Superior! Okay. Nobody's saying anything. I know more than, than my father. More than the dragon lady. Why do you tell me how smart you are? Suppose you are a walking encyclopedia. What about it? Oh, I'm talking to you because I've nobody else to talk to. I don't want to waste time on that red-whiskered, loud voice terror of mine. I refuse to talk to childish, little, little, insensate for pain. What's the matter with Pat Ryan? He's a pretty smart fellow. He avoids me. You would, too, if you could. Well, why aren't you more pleasant? Sure, a lot of things are not so good, but there's no use of making your life and everybody else's miserable. <laughs> You know, I've been thinking of something that would startle you, Johnny Somber. Yeah? I'm not going to turn my father over to the Chinese army. I'm going to do something far more satisfactory to myself. Yeah? And perhaps if you use your head, I'll let you join I don't get it. You wouldn't because you don't know. Now listen to me then. I'm going to take over and run my father's business. But I thought you didn't uh, like it because he was a smuggler and a prey. Let me finish! Not only am I going to take control of the Captain Blaze outfit, but I'm going to take over the organization run by the Dragon Lady. Say, you certainly cut out a job for yourself, Jerry. Oh, I'll need help, of course. It can be done. But... What will you do after you take charge of this? I'm going to turn both outfits into a service to work on the other side of the fence to do good. Huh? I'm tired of my father's methods. Yes, I think it's time I defeated his plans and those of the dragon lady. If we're going to smuggle and be a plague to the Burma Road, then why not fight against the invader? You mean you want to work for the Chinese army to use the resources of Captain Blaze and the Dragon Lady to fight the enemy? Oh, that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you, Johnny Chandler. Well, what do you know about this? I'm tired of sitting around watching loot and pillage pile up. The Burma Road is important. I want to be active. I want to do something worthwhile. I I well, say, all this is a surprise, Cheery, but you'll need help to do what you're trying to do. Not Didn't count on me, of course. You work for the Dragon Lady. Not anymore. I'm with you in this place. What about Pat Ryan? He'll join us. I know he is. Very well. I hope I haven't made a mistake now in telling you all this. Not a chance. Scotty, what do we do first? Well, I've already accomplished the first step. Talk to some of the men. They're my father. They're eager to fight the invader, but they're afraid to join the army because there's a price on their heads for the trouble they caused in the past. These men are just for me. What about your father? They'll confront him. And if he refuses to do as I say, then we'll just lock him up for the duration. I'm using the way you say it. And as for the dragon, I'm waiting for her to arrive, and then we'll decide what we can do with her. Golly, if all this works out like you say, we'll be a lot better off all the way around. There's a powerful radio nearby. We can take charge of it. Send a message to the Chinese High Command. Offer our services in the defense of the Burma Road. Yep, Johnny Thumber, I have no figure out. Listen, what's that? That's a signal. Somebody's riding. Yeah, well, the guard's outside looking more alive than usual. Who's coming here today? Does your father have many visitors? Not, not many. Most of those who come uninvited never see me. Well, they never leave alive. Something always happens. You know, they disappear or maybe... They don't they... talk like that. It gives me the shiver. Hey... Hey, look out there. There's something else to give you the shivers. Isn't that your employer? I can't see. There's too many guards around the gate. Now, now you can see. The dragon lady. She's here. Yeah. You don't sound happy about it. Well, I... 
I'm not. I I mean, if I'm going to help you, well, don't you see? Well, why be alarmed? Are you afraid to face it? Yes, you want to know, I am. Why? Look, you've got to help me. If I agree to help you with your plans, you've got to help me. Johnny Samba, what do you mean? You've got to insist that I am Johnny Samba, no matter what the dragon lady says. Insist that this is it, that you are Johnny Samba? So you better explain what you mean, because Only I... Only that, well, you see, I'm not Johnny Samba at all. No, you're not. What? Now, I may as well trust you. You trusted me with your plans. No, I'm not Samba. He's injured. What we happen to look alike, so, so I decided to carry on for is the you don't work for the, the dragon lady? And neither did Johnny Somber. Not really. He was a pretty secret service man. And that's what you are? Well, in a way, I'm working for the Chinese army. But I'm an American. Yes, yes, I know all that. But, 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 but who are you? Well, you look exactly like Johnny Somber. I'm Terry Lee. I've lived in China for a long time. So now, how about it? Will you help me? Help Pat Ryan and... Well, I'll think about it. Look, there's much time to think. She's coming inside. She'll be in here with us soon. Well, then and why, why, why did you come here? What reason? To betray my father to the army so, so that he could be executed? You mean that you were planning to capture him and take him back to the All army? All right. He's a crook and a pirate. You said so yourself. But now your plan is so much better. Ah, uh, you don't believe that. Listen, Shirley, listen. I can help you. I can help you turn this Captain Blaze outfit into a service against the invader. But you've got to help me. You've got to tell the dragon lady that I am Johnny Somber. All right, I will. But you'll have to take the consequences if you'll call it. Just say I'm Somber, that's all. These next few hours are going to mean a lot to all of us. All right, very well. Uh, uh... Right on talking, there's something I want to find out. Yeah, that was the dragon lady, all right. I'll be glad to see her. Although I suppose that... Come back here! Come back here! I don't know. One of my father's men had died. Too dark out there to tell. I He's asked. listening at the door? Yes, he's certain. How long have been there? We don't know. Oh, now we are in a spot. Oh, it's there. It's right. We should have kept our voices down. Oh, the dragon lady's here. That's bad enough. But if somebody was listening and heard all we said, and if he went and told Captain Boyd... Oh, then my plans may be ruined. And that's for you, Terry. Oh, I certainly would hate to be in your shoes. Gosh. They sure don't get any better, do they? Well, I should say they don't. The dragon lady's arrival was trouble right there, but if somebody's been listening to Terry's talk with the Blaze's daughter, that may upset the apple cart for sure. I'll give you a hint about tomorrow's adventure in just a moment. Gosh, but I envy you kids when you get your copy of the Terry Adventure Game Book. The fun you will have playing a new kind of Chinese checkers and coloring the plain lion to throw the dragon lady off the trail and hunting for April in the Great Wall of China. And boy, will you mystify the rest of the gang with the tricks and optical illusions you'll learn from Ming Fan, the magician of Mongolia. There never was such a book full of exciting fun as the Terry Adventure Game Book. And only think, boys and girls, you can get it free. Yes, all you do is get a label from Libby's Tomato Juice and a label from Libby's Pineapple Juice, then print your full name and address on the back of one and mail them to Terry in care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. Every boy and girl of you, no matter what your age, will be thrilled with a new Terry Adventure game book. So send for it right away. Now, you'll want to be on hand when Terry and Pat and Cherry Blaze make more plans to take over the captain's outfit and make a prisoner of the Dragon Lady. There's plenty of surprises awaiting you on tomorrow's transcribed adventure. So stand by. <laughs>